Tyson Fury. He's so big and yet so light on his feet. No one moves around the... The, the fighters are in the... This bout is scheduled. All the talking has been done. It's time to start doing... And there's the bell to start round one. Both men step back for just a moment. Score with that left hand. There's a counter shot. Fantastic punch. Welcome inside this unique environment, a beautiful theater, ready for a fist fight. You walk in, you cannot hide or duck or stand behind anybody. The audience is on you. They see every single movement, every single twitch. If you're scared, the thousands of people are here in this place, they will spot it. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. And these shots, even if they land, are going to do no damage. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. No injury, but still throwing punches. There's a scoring blow. Left punch. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? Here we go. Round two. Who's going to land the first big shot? Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first, and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. To beat a counter punch, you've got to take them out of their pace. Do not wait for them, because if you wait, they'll pepper and pop you all night long. Rush them. He blocks that right hook. Nice exchange here from both men. Beautiful counter punch. an eye on this slugger. As you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. Speed generates power. Timing is everything. If you've got speed, you can pop, knock anybody out. You've just got to hit him in the right spot. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both. I think Eddie Hall took a big shot. is ticking. This is his big chance. And it appears the onslaught is over, at least for now. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Good counterpunching for both these athletes. That was almost a 10-8 round. Complete dominance. The bell rings and we start the third. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Insane action!
You don't want to trade shots. It's the typical big man, little man argument. He's got to be quicker. He's got to move a lot to win this fight. If you're in there with a guy so big in front of you, you've got to be smart. You've got to use your smarts and use that skill. This is what you've prepared for. You've got to negate that jab, let it ride past you and push his own weight on him. Nice exchange here from both men. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you, and so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. He misses with that jab. Both men step back for just a moment. Defending themselves. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. They've got the momentum, they've got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? Some, but they don't get complacent. You think this is too easy if they keep... Here we go in round four. Who's going to land the first big shot? Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Let's see if these two heavyweights decide to exchange bombs early or decide to box a little bit. A couple of big units here, so I'm expecting power. You're gonna have excitement, you're gonna have drum, because when these guys slow down, that's when the punches are gonna land. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. He blocks the hook. a power puncher you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw it's about how many you land and how hard they are so one who draws first blood top that's what you've got to look at if you pick and you know you're in there with a banger you've got to be on it but you've got to be confident and nice exchanges from both men in this round skill for skill tap for tap just like a match made in heaven Counter right hand there. Good counter punch. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. Nice counter shot. He misses with that jab. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. You can't leave it. Here we go in round five. Who's going to land the first big shot? Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. He got out of the way of that right hook. got someone with that hand speed that this fighter possesses, how do you deal with it? Having so much speed, what happens to your opponent is you get clutched to ribbons, and that's where the referee has to jump in and stop the fight. And you know this is going to happen, so you rush your work. You think, I've got to get him inside close rounds. Nice counter shot with the right hand. He fails to score with that left hook. Threw the hook, didn't land. Back 
and forth they go. Neither fighter willing to back down. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about want. Missed him with that uppercut. They exchange punches. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. He carries away that left hook. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Almost a 10-8 round, complete dominance. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, then it's going to be up. This is the beginning of round six. Last round, complete domination. Let's see what we have in store for us here. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will, when they hit, be a lot harder. This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. It just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. counter shot when are we going to see a jab from these two Good counter left hand there no rest for the weary nice counter punch nice job landing with that right hand counter that counter shot lands So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. You, all three judges here are going to give that round to you know who. Dominance, without a doubt, made it look so, so easy. There's the bell to start round seven. After a really strong round, let's see if they can finish the job. Scoring left hand. They're both going for the KO. It's so obvious. Nice offensive display landing that left counter. You've seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? And we've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower. Calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. And they figure out the combination to this safe. They both want a highlight reel knockout. I'd 
like to see more jabs. The perfect counter lands. One punch could change everything in this battle. This punch scores. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. It's no secret who has the advantage after that last round. Let's see what they have in store for us in the next one. You can't leave it up to the judge. And they're back at it again here in round eight. That round was complete domination. Let's see if we can shake things up here in this round. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, take the mind off protecting everything around them. Work the body, use tactics sometimes to so much to actually outbox the fight and beat them on points. You miss with that jab. Nice counter. Hook won't score. This fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them non-stop. So you're getting in there with somebody that's so fast, you're prepared to take a look at it because you've got to get some before you get in close. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful though. And he misses with the left uppercut. Lands with the right counter. Having a hard time finding a home with that right uppercut. He can't score with that uppercut. Your hands a very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Good counter punching for both these fighters. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. Fighters starting to get tired as we start round nine. This fight has been very one-sided. What are we going to have in this round? This fighter is sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. He'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. This can be so frustrating when you're in with such a fast fighter. Fast fighter can throw three four-shot combinations before you've even let one up. That creates frustration, and that's when it gets hard. Score again with the left hand. Which one of these athletes is going to say, I can't take it anymore? On her right. Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to go down? These two are the perfect dance partner. and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fire, we fight. You either give it and back because that's where they're comfortable or you play calm, play calm. He carries that right jab away. Just as quickly as the action slows down, it heats back up. Under 10 seconds to go. Talk about. 
about a one-sided three minutes. We just saw it. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. There's the bell to start round 10. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walked right through? Don't get trigger happy because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot and that's when they catch you. Both men step back for just a moment. Left counter scores. He just misses with that jab. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. We both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? You've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain there. Power. That power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. Left counter punch for score. Did well to block that right hook. And he just missed with that left jab. Hook just can't find very close round with 10 seconds to go. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt who won that round. You can't leave it up to the judges. And there's the bell for round 11. Now there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you're thinking, you've just got to be smarter than them. You've got to be like a little fake and a big bucket. And shoot. The biggest of them all crashes to the canvas. Well, they're back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. Men step back for just a moment. Hard, we see much, much more, much, much better. We can see them. I'm being unfair. I'm not being unfair since it's a little boring. It's not boring. We've probably just been scored. Counter right hand again. Looks like this fighter did not work on defense this training camp. And showing exceptional chins, by the way. Nice counter shot. He just missed. As we enter the final 10 seconds here, it's probably a round he'd rather forget. Big of the factor that knockdown's gonna be, we just saw. You've been put down, you've got to think right. There's the bell for round 12. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. Oh, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything full battle because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's gonna happen. If he does that, I'll be very, very surprised.
let this fighter's speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots, and they're coming at lightning speed. I've never seen a fight so fast in my life. How'd you deal with this? You've got to hope. You've got to hope they run out of steam. I think it's safe to say one of these fighters certainly has a significant speed advantage. You can tell who it is. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Nice idea with the hook, but that's blocked. confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through it? Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those pointed areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. you just got to try and cut them skimming. Go for speed. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Close round with 10 seconds to go. That left counter was... The judges have spoken a unanimous decision victory. Unanimous? You know what? Smart, smart that is. Total change of styles to make sure they got it. At every round in the bag, there was no argument, no discussion, no mistake. It was so obvious.